what's up everyone welcome back to the channel we are preparing this video in response to a question we got on the Lee and Lee TL LCD and SL fan installation uh, it was a question regarding how we connected uh, the fan controller hubs to the NZXT internal USB hub so we'll just go over some of the considerations I prepared this brief schematic I figured it'd be easiest uh, to help us all follow uh, different connections. It's pretty straightforward, but there's a few things you want to consider before you get started. Okay, so originally um, we ran into a bit of a trouble when we were installing the fan hub controllers because we're limited to two 9-pin USB connections on our motherboard. If you're like me, you're going to want to keep one for your uh, case USB connections. So you want to make sure you've got one of those available and then the hub just gives you a lot of extra uh, room to play with okay so getting started with the sl fans once you've got all three connected you're going to take this single white cable or black cable if you've got the black variant and it will connect directly into the sl fan hub the sl fan hub can be connected through um, you know five volts rgb USB. Um, for this case, let's say we're we're doing um, USB connection, we will require a SATA power as well. And this is one important thing you want to consider. I highly recommend a modular power supply, just to make sure you've got a, a enough connections to work with. You're not going to run into any issues. So once we've got a SATA power connected, we're going to connect our nine pin USB to one of these four ports on the NZXT hub. We've got that connected. The NZXT hub will require SATA power as well. Moving on to the TL fans. Similarly, we're gonna connect all three together. Uh, with the single cable, we'll connect to the fan hub fan hub will require SATA power again make sure we've got enough connections before we start our build so we've got everything powered up we'll connect the TL hub to the NZXT and then NZXT uh, it will be indicated this uh, purple connection here will go direct to the motherboard So now we've got this connected to the motherboard, this connected to our fan hubs. We have an additional nine pin connection here for a case USB, something along those lines. And if you're like me, I'm running a small LCD screen it connects to one of these and we still do have one connection left for any future modifications we'd like to add. I'm considering adding uh, some SL reverse fans at the bottom of my case and once we get those I'll be sure to uh, to produce a video and just show exactly where the cables are running and uh, any other considerations if you found this video helpful consider uh, leaving a like subscribing happy to answer any other questions um, you know, there's also um, sort of the software side of things. If you're running, um, say, Signal RGB or some of those other things, there is a bit of troubleshooting. If you've got any questions, we'd be happy to um, to answer any of them. Thanks to everyone that tuned in. Thanks for everyone who participated and added comments, suggestions to the previous video. It's been very helpful. And with that, thanks again, and until next time.